We're pretty sure that life had established itself on Earth by three and a half billion years ago. But the question already conceals an assumption, which is that life on Earth began on Earth. We don't know that's so. It could be that life, for example, began on Mars and then came to Earth. This idea that we might be life that came from Mars, this is called panspermia for obvious reasons, okay? The idea that life might somehow get kicked off on a rock and comes over to another planet so life could spread throughout the solar system. There's no reason that couldn't have happened. At Arizona State University, thousands of meteorites hold clues about the genesis of our solar system and maybe even the origin of life within it. Meteorites are cool for several reasons, because they tell us a story where we came from, and every meteorite tells us a slightly different story. One of the most celebrated storytellers is the Murchison meteorite, which fell to Earth in Australia in 1969. The Murchison meteorite was collected soon after the fall. What does it look like inside? Every single chip of this contains around 40,000 different organic compounds. What was most interesting was the fact that they found amino acids. This was the first time that extraterrestrial amino acids had been discovered. Amino acids uh, are very important for life as we know it. Anytime you're talking about cells taking in materials from outside and doing some kind of chemical processing to release energy, at the heart of that process are gonna be amino acids. What we're trying to answer in astrobiology is the ultimate question that is life something that is uh, easy to make or is it a bizarre fluke that might be restricted to Earth? And of course, if life has happened twice, then surely it's happened many, many times all around the universe. This is an invasion, people. Y'all want to know the truth about E.T.? Right here, y'all. There are those who believe the aliens are puppeteers, engineering life to dominate, or at least survive here. Are you feeling warm? Is Earth being used as a giant lab experiment? And are we the guinea pigs 